Council, if we're ready to resume, please proceed. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chair. The witness is being brought in at the moment. Thank, thank you. Welcome back, Mr. Sambu. Mr. Sambu, you are Before the break, uh, you are looking at your documents to see whether you can give us a flavor, an example of some of the things Yaya Jame would write. Go ahead, Need counsel, I want to show you an example of what you are asking. Mm -hmm. is the language President Jame used, former President Jame used to address some of us. There is a minute that uh, the principal assistant secretary at the time sent through me to His Excellency. Principal Secretary, and in reply, he also wrote a minute to the Minister of President. And in reply, he also wrote a minute. Despite the fact that he approved of what we requested to him, from him, he said, he wrote to me, yes, if you present any minute with such type to me, so you will regret it. So, in the day, then he wrote NB, stroke PS. Hello, hello. Uh, uh, could, uh, let's go back. In the, to the, the, let's take it back again and uh, have uh, a better interpretation. Okay. And he said, if you present any minute with such to me, so mm -hmm. you will regret it. So, bin that the minute you may need, come to Anamgi, then go reach. Come, boom, bin that the hibar you may need, then go reach. Then he wrote N B S G, stroke P S, send her home. In fact, because this is unacceptable. Full stop. Fire her as an Example to others, not like her. Pina na NB mune ko yon yobu ko na gene ko dako ko komni yenen. These minutes I secretly photocopy. Minutes na damako photocopy si sekare. I wanted to write a memoir or something, or maybe an occasion like this would come. And when I pina na memoir, if you explain to people, they will. Believe, and here's a photo photostat copy of one of these with such language written to me for an other staff. This was a lady who was suckling, and I passed her the file to write the minute, and she sent it through me, and it went. He couldn't accept it. Uh, please take, let me take a quick look.
from this document, are you able to tell what was your Jamis concern? Chi Kate Bini, Nahadin Chimuna Wahia Jamim Lala Chibloon Lana Kochi Meteon Beta Muah Wahju Meti Gile. I don't really remember, of course, it's a long time. Probably it could have been the language. Okay. Well, it says here that Your Excellency's kind attention is being drawn to folio 30 and minutes 27 and 28 on file in relation to search and rescue exercise. Matat and sign Kana Konili. Well, I don't know what Matat and sign Kana Konili means. Uh, maybe Kana Konili is not English. Maybe it's a, it's a, uh, either an acronym or just a name that is given to uh, the search and <coughs> rescue operation uh, but take a look at it again maybe you can you can find decipher decipher <coughs> the problem jamie had with this uh, just what, a moment what, Mr. Yeah, Jai, why, why, to you. go ahead yes but while he, uh, he's doing that probably can help us with context as well i says i uh, uh, the yes. commissioners can see the uh, yes the document later on thank you but uh, if you can provide context. A bit can. of context and just a bit of background and yeah, then we Precisely. Can. This was supposed to have been a search and rescue exercise. Uh, with the uh, partner uh, security services, I think um, this was a civil defense, it had to deal with the uh, fire service and, and the, the military, military together. Service. <coughs> and the military are being asked to appoint, nominate one or two candidates. So he was being requested to, you give him two or three names and he chooses from them. That's why he said, one, any one of these above officers can go. CDS to call on the above. So he was not satisfied perhaps with the manner in which or the language in which the minute was written. The lady, yes. He never got a contact from she and a mila hamne, no link in the one he bargained me. I should think so, yes. Well, I can remember. But of course, you know that to write. The, the, like the person's ability to write to a considerable extent depends on the person's education or level of education. She was a PAS at the time. PAS now, she was an assistant secretary. Principal assistant secretary. But, but you would agree that uh, the person's ability to write to a considerable extent would depend on the person's level of education. Indeed. Well. And would it be fair to say that Yaya may expected a very high level of uh, uh, writing and uh, reading skills? He, that is what he expected in this minute. This was a very simple minute. And that minute was simple. So it didn't implicate any uh, detailed issues and as, as PS or DPS. We don't want to involve a PS to write any complicated minute. It's a few lines. Well, we are talking about Yajame's expectations. 
you, you, you told us that when you write something, he would check your commas, yes. your punctuation, yes, yes, yes. and all that. Yes, yes. So he expected a high standard. Yes, indeed. You know, Halina Ham Namula, I am Melun Sintu Persaka, Chigana, Tutu Wanga Fine, Boko Bindale, Dara, Dina said, and I mean Kobinde, Fanga, Dale, Fanga, Ekate, Hit Namun, and you men, Nunula don't send to Chehibari, and you bindo. Mung don't send to Munam Binda Bukoe, Chichi Liga Chingurki. That's what I'm not. But the fact of the matter is, isn't that really foolish? Considering the fact that the recruitment policy of government at the time signaled the very opposite. Would have been right or council is right. Munna ne kadega wala council degala. All right, council is right. Well, con degala. Well, it has to be about the content really of the proposition. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the NIA. That would take us to the next topic we wanted to discuss. That is the recruitment policy of the NIA. Lagi nain saya timbir NIA, lalu dengan yang mana yang buka, cik dengan fan nabi ngah hamne mungkin buka waktu ane, mui, nengah hamne nol yang jeli ligi ayat ni cik NIA. A lot of the NIA officers, senior NIA officers, including directors general, had no qualification higher than secondary four. Ninga hamne nyor neka si NIA bukan sah, ninga hamne neka neng director general di c NIA yep sen mahama c sen walin jangga wesul pinyo secondary four. Agreed. Nangu na? Isn't that a tragedy? It was worse than a tragedy. Maybe you have better words to describe it. Hid na am naya neng anam yoko muna wahai. Well, this is uh, something I found there. And uh, sometimes officers are sent over to the NIA for enlistment from the state house. Allow for the interpretation. Sorry. Complete. Sorry. Sometimes there are moved from the police or the military and then you have and then they did it police you want to see me to you know the NIA read orders at Nenen NIA is the institution we have seen where the security guards are promoted only to director Kena erek mui lagi kalau boleh hamne, ni kalau hamne ai security guard le, ni guard le sa, dia ni jual uang kesian mah, mah belum kau lebih perlu cipta lagi director. That was not during my time. Lo nak duiti orang semua zaman tu. It used to happen. Why don't now? It has happened. Am now. But this is supposed to be an intelligence institution. This is supposed to be at the heart of government. Doing some of the most sensitive intellectual work for the government. Where information is guarded in the most unconventional ways and analyzed and out of which policy decisions are taken to advance the government. Isn't it that's what it's supposed to do? It is. Yeah. <coughs> Aye, jago itu yang war lagi jil pur dajal kibar yoi. Kibar yoi ni war ko tak tajat ko. Pur genesi aye kamel yo kamne moy tak gur gijil matua ini war jil. Lulu don war dayu war. Lulu ligai barom ham hamla. 
Do you agree with that? I do. Namuna. But look at the NIA. A lot of the people who were recruited into the service had no more than secondary four certificates. Why, several NIA, na? Ni ki opayet ni ndan gel ligye fofu. Amun mahama bo wea su secondary school certificate. That is true. Lol de gola. Isn't that a terrible disappointment? It was um, when I first took over in March 2006, very much at 2006, I met Kila Fekum, a new batch of recruits, Babu S. Boham and Yulin Ajil Siligi, that were just enlisted. Joham and Daniel Binda S. La Marina, Chief Marina. They had not even undergone the simplest of training, which is the trade craft. About 150. And I embarked on an institutional reform. But I couldn't complete it. Why? Events of the 2006 coup. Overtook that exercise. And I was eventually removed before I completed the job. What is exactly what the lead council said? I mean, isn't it counterintuitive to recruit people who had no significant qualification, yet you expect the highest level of performance from them? To a certain degree, it was more or less like a dumping ground. But the NIA was, yes, okay, dumping ground from other institutions. <coughs> But the foreign affairs was even worse because the NIA people were dumped into foreign affairs afterwards. But seen a statement yesterday <coughs> of someone who had only secondary four certificate grew to be senior officer at NIA and moved to Morocco or Taiwan as Counselor and head of mission. I know. What would you say to that? Successive DGs. Picked up their boys. Then you just send Nini and relatives. I Boko and sent them to foreign affairs. Daldilen yobuna ci yenn foreign affairs ci bint bitim rew for eventual posting pour nak ñu daldi fa liggey as a liaison NIA liaison officer in the embassy. Ñu daldi fa togal NIA ci embassy bo. There's a provision to post an NIA officer in the most of the embassies pour jëm ci walli yobu ay NIA ci embassy yi and the budgetary allocations are independent from that of foreign affairs. Drawn from the NIA's budget. So this is why they send their people. They, they rise up. And when you go, you send somebody to an embassy. Our embassies, most of the time, are understaffed. At the end of the day, the liaison officer is the one who is left there. Rather than post somebody new from foreign affairs, Banjul, 
ni jele ko xamne ni mu ñu ko yey foreign affairs fi ci bañ liaison officer is just automatically elevated ki nga xamne mo fa togal NIA bi mom dañ koy ekati rek aj ko ci kaw so in a sense the position of a trained diplomat bon nek place ki nga xamne diplomat la bu jangal who under the general orders must have a minimum qualification of bachelor's degree ko xamne ci ni wara gamé warna am mahama lum new 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 li ñoo wax bachelor's degree is now given to a secondary four holder legi ñu jox ko ko xamne xam xam secondary four la am from the NIA baye ko NIA the irony here is lead council i won't hide it le bi nek fi na duma ko nobu have seen it gis na ko you send a liaison officer to senegal ba yoni ko xamne ni mo fay togal ina e ci senegal ci embassy bi nekke dakar comme ning ko waxe secondary four graduate mu ngi maqama mu ngi tollu rest secondary four to even have a command of the english language ko xamne ni lak anglais bi sax setout ko let alone french mo ni ki sax la comme french is not good in english in wolof e degu wolof and you post him to senegal nga dal diko yow ni dekk mu melni senegal do you expect of that guy lo sentu ci kogu and invariably tay tamen even whereas the dg who posted him there has been changed tay tamen fekke ne director bi nga xamne moko fa ebal sax dal dinañ ko wetti you can't touch him munu lo ko lal why is that lo ta do ko muna lal i don't know various uh, of course mr sambu you do my ham you didn't happen in no time you cannot hide behind i don't oh, know no. call a spade a spade and spit hide. it out we are coming moy ni ngay ñew awun tay duma nobutu ci kan bi rest assured lead council dan na la garal thank you see call it as it is you why can't such people be touched wa xol wone rek mbir mi ni jamé rek tax bi ñu lal the affinities the affinities what affinities sometimes these things are not in the abstract sometimes fam sometimes family lego legi ci ben njabot gi family yes so you just mentioned tribe Right. No, I didn't mention. No, not here. In your introduction to the issues to be discussed. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Try. That's an inference to that. Mm-hmm. And sometimes friendship. Yeah, they have it. Carry it over. But then, with the with the frequent changes in leadership in the NIA, a change which you which you can have many young men are watching going to NIA. Nothing was permanent. I'm not sure how many they're going to suck. And so, deployments, transfers, and so on. ko lo na toxal yek ak ni de dob jombul dob dañ leen di mujjé jaxaso jaxase there was real need for institutional reform in that place ajo na lol pour ñu am wéccé ko wéccé ko ci buntu liggéeykaay boobu nonu but then with the interference from above way nak jamono boobu tamen kaddo yi nga xamné ñoo jogé ci kaw all these changes would not have happened without jamis knowledge of course ci ko yebdu do mëna am nak fek jamé yegu ko you must have given tacit or expressed approval ñu mom nak moy joxe nak ndigal bu wër kën pour ñu mën ko doxal lit council lit council a witness here from the NIA said the NIA was under the office of the president amna ben sédé bu tok fi né NIA mu ngi nekkon ci ron office president bi the NIA was ya jamis baby NIA na do mi ya jamela won nothing happened inside the NIA I I think you you are putting it nicely dara was ya jamé stool fok na ya ko rafé tal de boné do mi ya jamela won dafa mel ni jumtu way ya jamela won it was his stool would you agree jumtu way am la won di nga nangou of course well in fact from day one it was his stool to perpetrate the worst human rights violations against gambians da xam sax moy won jumtu wayam bo xamne daf ko dan jël pour yax ak ak yelle fi bam adam fi ci gambia could you answer now yes well you agree with that of course i agree nanguna uh, and let's talk about uh, when you first entered the nia and the violations that happened very early on legi nak ñu wax ba nga ñëkke commencer duga NIA ak li nga xamne modi yax yelle fi nga xamne mo fa doon xew ga nang bi of course we take cognizance of the fact that the NSS moved into the NIA da ci dinañ baye xel nak ne ñu wax NSS ñu ubbati ko duga ci biir NIA and at the outset you are director of 
um, administration and finance, isn't it? Even from that early on, the NIA was used as an institution to torture people in order to get what Yaya Jame wanted. Through all false. The thing is, uh, this is being video recorded yes. and aired. If you answer out of turn, your answer would not be captured because the camera would be focused on somebody else. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I'll put the question again. Even at the outset, the early 90s or mid 90s, Yaya Jame used the NIA as a tool to get what he wanted. It was used as as, as an institution to torture Gambians to get whatever it is that he wanted. Mm -hmm. Is that true or is it false? Wow. May I elucidate? Please go ahead. Lead Council, the primary function of an intelligence gathering institution uh, is to gather intelligence put into threats against the state. Uh, the state. If you look at other institutions in the neighboring countries or the US or UK. So say that the UN is going to be in the United States or the UK. You will find out that they have adequate independence. That means it's not all known where we can. But in the case of the Gambia and the NIA. Why not? So you have to marry Gambia and NIA. What the French will call instrumentalization. The French they were instrumentalization. The use, use, as you said, as a tool. The institution. The the institution. It occurs. The way we move. Let's make a comparison between the NSS and the NIA. When you when you mingle it, you the NSS and the NIA. I served in the NSS. NSS. We strictly gathered intelligence and sent it to the head of state. And he passed on the orders to the SG. And the decisions were taken. These were white papers. Researches on the economy. And you said that the economy was not a good thing. And other things. But why? With the NIA, uh, NIA which was created after dissolving the NSS, not only new faces came, but most of the old guys in the NSS were. Why NSS give it a new function and a new role. And in that, the NIA was giving much broader powers than the NSS. You agree but with that? Lo the family, NIA the Decree 48, 45. 45. Well, decree 45. And no longer was the NIA limited to looking into things that affected the state. The NIA was now giving powers to look into things that affected private individuals who resided in the country. Uh, uh, no. uh, was what the extent of the powers? Say, for instance, 
they can look into matters that affected the economic interests of residents in the country. Residents in the country is the word that was used uh, generally in the legislation throughout. Do you agree with that? I do. Wow, Namuna. And uh, Tate. We were talking about the character of the, or the personality of the president. If you correlate the functions as a tool of the NIA or whatever, everything was centered around Yajame. In, in effect, uh, you, are you suggesting, therefore, that when the words in the legislation uh, say to investigate matters of significant economic interest of the state of the Gambia or other residents in the country, that phrase, other residents in the country, could have been equated or synonymous to Yaya Jabe. That's what I'm coming to say. Don't have a book of in your Proceed, proceed. This was somebody who was, excuse me, so self centered. He was egocentric. To a level whereby the security threat to the security of the state was threat to his life, threat to him, threat to his family, threat to his properties. And he directed everything towards that. Somebody once wrote that Yajame's thinking is my Gambia, my country, my people, my farm, my this, my this. Everything was my. He owned us all and the country. Was it like that? Did you see it that way? Yes. 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 Upon the civil service or armed and security forces. So as to subjugate them. Pour Make them obey his orders. All times. All purposes. We've come back to the same thing. My this, my that, my that. I said he was egocentric. Make I give you an example? Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, a former ambassador of the United States to the Gambia, Pamela Ann White. I'm not going to have any ambassador of America featured with Gambia, Pamela Ann White, requested to pay me a courtesy call in my office. The first, I don't put in your settlement office. I directed her to write the necessary thought verbal to foreign affairs and they will forward, forward it to the President's office. And naturally foreign affairs, um, President's office would forward it to me. When the note came, he saw it. He approved, of course. But with a note, footnote that the SG should be present at the meeting. And I said, okay. The lady came. I invited my deputy. my deputy. Invited my principal assistant secretary to take notes. principal secretary And the SG sent a representative. After the normal diplomatic niceties, we went into business. She proposed assistance, of course, training packages and all that stuff to us. And we thanked her for American assistance and 
cooperation. New Grim Kochi in Dimbala, America, at Japal and Tebi. Our joint fight, ag fight against anti terrorism. Punak Ninwara Jeflan, a first land trafficking, Nukeh Wali, money laundering, and all that stuff. Terrorism, Akwali, Nira has Halis again. And she was full of praise. We're young technocrats within the system. She promised further aid. She said it was time to continue working. Let's ignore the man's behaviors, misbehaviors. We agreed and the meeting went well, fine. And you I have, I was obliged, I am obliged to write a minute describing the meeting and what happened. And I sent it upstairs. Where I was upstairs. His office, to the to the president's office through yeah. the office of the secretary general. The office of president, the office of the secretary general. When his minute came down, big minute, minute, me watch it. Don't you? He said. What did he say? None of our calling. He said, I will not forget that the permanent secretary, rather than talk about our successes. Permanent secretary will say, um, they were talking to you in your culture and other things. Billy Sampagan opened his big mouth, Ubi Game and Guregi, praising the Americans. The Tegu Americans. I threw the file to my deputy and said, Read that. My daddy Johanna file with my deputy, of course, Jangali. Marco, you don't expect my money at Jali by Jamechi Gigenbi. You expect me to become Jali yeah, Jamesh Jali by the man who told you Jalore Jamesh Jigen. Am I the one who should tell the Jali Jamesh history to this woman? I told my deputy. My wife calls my deputy. Be. That's how he thinks. No, 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 no. It's all about himself. So I was no, so no, so no, yeah. Well, you had to sing his praises instead of anything else. Here we are talking about concrete things for the benefit of the country. But you had to, of course, emphasize he was Babi Limansa. He had done a lot of infrastructural development in the country. That's what was his expectation, was it? But, but the civil service were all basically reduced into sycophancy. Uh, all of them praised him everywhere they went. Mm. Wasn't that the norm? Who betide you if you don't do it? Mr. Sambo, I understand you even used to wear the Asobi, the, the uh, Jami Asobi. You are civil Everybody servant. Everybody did. Could you say again? Everybody did. And that's your defense? No. It was wrong, wasn't it? Agreed. Civil servants work for the government. And the government is neutral. It should not be involved in party politics. And I repeat that for good reason. The government of the Gambia is separate and different from the politics of the country. Civil servants must not be involved in the politics of the country. You agree with that? I May I? Yes, please, go ahead. Yeah, ordered for this paraphernalia. 
caps ya jamé jël na li nga xamanteni ni mo nekk doxalil bi nga xamanteni mo doon am ci jamono bobu non do ya jamé ci bopam mo indi bagage yoy moy mbaxana yeg asobi yeg yoy aussi and he would send bills of these tissues materials to the various departments te mo moy indi ay baloti baloti jumtu wa yoy diko indi ci liggey kay free of charge ignore_time_segment_in_scoring bu boba nak da nay la gisse rek ne nonam nga as an opposition ko xamne dafa daf ko dingat as a saboteur ko xamne daf ko sabotage as a subvata ko xamne dafa lendemal am you go boba na nga dem and he home nga dem ker and send you home means once you are out of state house or the gates of the edda they are waiting for you te boy gen moy boy gen ci bunta be la nga xaar to take you eh ye bu la fan ฮัลโหลเดวะคอมโบเลฟานเฮ้ยฮัลโหลเดวะคอมโบเลฟานซีฮัลโหลเดวะฮัลโหลเดวะนอเลตส์บีฟรังอะพาร์ทฟรอม
and principally the NIA, which was the instrument that drew fear in the hearts of Gambians. Yes. Well, and uh, the first test, or rather the second test to Yahya Jame's authority was the attacks at Farafenya Barracks. Do you recall that incident? It's been a long time, but I can faintly remember, remember after the... Uh, well, well, we will help you. Farafenye military barracks was attacked by dissidents from Liberia, ostensibly under the direction of Kukoi Sambasanyan. That attack on our security forces culminated into the killing of a few Gambian soldiers. Uh, I should say many in view of the size of our armed forces. Some put the number at eight soldiers who were killed at Farafenye. And some of those attackers were captured. Balokante, Yaya Drame, Omar Juf, Omar Juf was it Dampa, I think, Omar Juf Dampa. Those were captured, I think, uh, Suleiman Sar as well. Yes. They committed the crime of treason. They committed murder. Very serious crimes against the state. And we all condemned that attack. You recall that incident? Criminal, criminal as their conduct was. The perpetrators had rights. That were enshrined under the Constitution of the Republic. You agree with that? No. No. And no matter what they did, they ought to have been processed according to law. You Tell us what happened when they were brought to the NIA for investigation. They were brutally tortured. Tortured by who? Well, you had the... Some soldiers were there. I'm not even a soldier if I'm not But they were in the then investigation department. Of I don't know if you want to get a guess to you. Who did the torturing? Well, I think the investigation department was led by Fodebari. He had assistance. Mm. Lamin Jobate was there. Lamin Jobate he was responsible for prosecution matters. Babasaho was also there. And a few young boys. I would not remember who. Not unless maybe the list is called out. And <laughs> Salmina Drame, was he there? Yes. Well, these were members of the investigations unit. The, the question is, who did the torturing? Or none the torturing?
investigation department and there was torture then they were the one mr sambo we are not going to put it like that mr sambo bring ko jele no no de we have to call a spade a spade da ñu wax mbir yi dal nim deme ñu waxe ko no no yah bi mom nañ ko toj nañ ko toj okay let's break it let's hit the nail on the head and stop beating about the bush i won't you were there as deputy as de facto deputy director general correct indeed you are young for one nek director general bi nga xamne mo fa jinn ki topon ci director general indeed waaw dega la you saw what was happening yaa ngi don gis li don xew was na fadem gis li i once when there and i saw it not just once you've been there several times and then you saw what was going on du benna yonde yang fon ay yoni yon te gisul nga li fa do ne ñaar ñata several la kon several la if at all is two or three is several then is several well so they may be am ñata kañ passé nga couple waaw degal d'accord so you saw what was going on i did le gisul nga li don dox ma gis na ko these people were tortured by your colleagues ni sa ay ligey ndor ño len don bugal indeed wow who are they ñan la for the bari as i said for the bari comme nimako waxe baba saho baba saho wate jobate which jobate lamin lamin otherwise known by what other name baba ndig baba ndig len ko gëna xamé and uh, i think you mentioned another name i can't remember i mentioned salmina drame yes. was he there salmina drame la fi the man who was there i wouldn't remember everybody do mo meuna fatale ko ñepp but the question be is for. was he there who was wa mo did he participate in the tortures bokko na ci ñi doon def mi ci tal yi di mbugal ni ci fofu in a long time i wouldn't know but i presume yes yag na de du ma meuna xam way nak ya dana wax ne waaw you presume or you believe yakan nga wala gom nga ne yes i believe waaw gom na ni how about jim drame naka jim drame na was part of the team mo wen bokon na ci kurel gogu part of the torturers bokon na ci ñom bu gale if the others tortured i don't see any reason why he wouldn't bu fekke ne ñeneen ni dal di won nañu door ñoñu mom lu tax du ko def Tell us a bit about those torches. Wax ñu lu aju ci mitital yoy nga xamne mom lañ doon def. What you saw Balo Kanté Yaya Drame Omar Juuf Damfa and all this. Li nga gis Balo Kanté Yaya Damfa Omar Juuf Drame Suleiman Sarr Omar Juuf Damfa Suleiman Omar Juuf Damfa Suleiman Sarr. I heard uh, Balo Kanté saying that uh, yeah, si wewe bitin. Dégg na Balo Kanté di wax ne dañ leen do dooru metti metti. Faki also said that his nipple was cut off. Mom sa dal dina wax tamen ne dal dina ñu dok li ñam ci sambi ci sambi particularly mention jobate. Te tamen daf ci tuddu nak jobate. From what you heard Bale Kanté say. Li nga dégg Bale Kanté wax ko. Did you notice any lie? He said. Ndax sel lu nga ci cadeau yim fi wax yeb ndax amna ci dara lu mu wax te doonu dégg. I would have said he lied about me but uh, during my tete tete with lead counsel in his office dama don mu na wax ne dafa fen ci suma mbir way waxtan yu nga xamne amna ko lead and counsel actually reminded me and i agreed with lead counsel ci len yes ci bi waxe nak ci la ma battle ne ci la nangone waw deug la i definitely he refreshed my mind and i agree ci la be sala suma xel nak ci la nangu so you agree that what bale kanté said was true Yes, I don't know what I'm going to tell him to wax degal. Wow degal duma ko wedi. Like I told lead counsel in his office. Comme ni mako waxe lead counsel ci office am. He knows it. Yi nga xamne ni mo jakarlo mi mem moko xam. Mo xamon metti tam. Mo mo xamon metti tam. He knows what pains him. So whatever he said is true. Mo ko wedi. I will not deny it. Balo Kanté suggested that you came in, you saw him under orders being tortured. 
and you did not say and or do anything to stop it balo kanté wax na né yow da nga dugg ci fekk mom ak ñeneen ñu ngi leen di mitital di leen bugal waye waxu lo ci dara pour téré leen yes i it is in the allegation on the notice of advance mention advance mention waaw comme mu ngi ci etuma yi nga xamné mom lañ yombali wa and i have replied té tontu na i submitted today bo xamné ni agalé na ko tay yes of course you have a right not to incriminate yourself we remind you of that fact and what is your answer to this allegation that you are there you are deputy director general of the act de facto deputy director general of the NIA you saw them being tortured you did or say nothing to stop it yeah i didn't do anything it is in my statement defu ma dara mo ci ci mo bind madam ci kaw if you answer out of turn sorry. it may not be captured <laughs> sorry so yes could you respond now there i did not do anything wofu nak defu ma fa dara but i went upstairs while the madam ci kaw and called the attention of the boss ma daldi waxtan ak ki nga xamne ni moy go down there ni nga xamne ño nek ci suuf we are not under me nek ci suma ron we are under the big boss samba ba ñom ñu ngi ci ron ki li fa gu magi samba wa when i called his attention bi nga xamé nak o na ko wax al ko he looked at me and said i was a coward dila ma xol ne ma yow tapen nga the the irony of this whole thing mr sambu is that some of these witnesses seem to suggest that whenever you go there the torture against them seem to intensify ñi nga xamne yeb ñoo fi joxe seen sede liñ fi wax moy ne eh bu ñeen dem bugal di leen mitital mom yow sa yo dugg se rek mitit bi da fay gëna tar what do you say to that lo am pour wax ci lolu that's the fifth issue on the advance mention lolu na moy juroomé li bu bo xamne ñu ko ci dida even for balo kanté and others that is the suggestion they in fact they suggested a little more than that and i am coming i am building up i'm giving you the opportunity to respond to these things and i wrote that dama bindal dam fa and kante ak kante have the right to feel am nañ ci pour yek what they said pour li wax li nga xamne lo lañuy wax because they were at that time ko ndek jamono bobu in a very difficult situation yoon ci jamono bu jafé like i said who feels it knows it comme ni mako waxé rek ki nga xamne moko yek moko xam but i was not supposed to be there and give command to the boys down there waye nak waru mo na nek ci suuf pour joxé ndigal ni boys yi nek ci suuf i told samba ba ci la dem ma wax samba ba like i said he said i was a coward comme nima ko waxe da man tapet la it was up to him to take a decision waye nak dafa desson ci mom rek pour mu jël ay dogal so what i raised or assure ci li nga xamne ni mom la ko wax because he was the boss ndax jamono joju mom mo nekkon khalifa gu magi but omar juf seems to suggest that you were complicit in their torture wa amar juuf mom wax na ne yow bokkon nga sax andon nga ci mitital bi nga xamne mom lañ leen don def he said that he has a right to his opinion wow comme ni ma xere is either subjective or objective nek na ko xamne ni amna ci ci li nga xamne ni lool moy xalaatam ak ni wax on the perspective of the individual def na rek ci ni nga xamne noon la ko waxe mo xamna the information the commission received is that whenever you show up in the torture room you would say na saf de na safa saf eh xibar nga xamne mom la fi commission bi jot moy ñi fi waye wax nañ ne yow dal sa yu ñeen di mbugal di leen mitital bo dugg ce dal da ngay ne na safa saf rek am haris sambul na xamne ma du wax ngi nit yoy do is that knows haris sambul he is not that type of person we have seen quite a lot of characters before this trrc kana me trrc bi de gis nañ fi fa sa ngi fi nek did you did you or did you not say that wax nga ko wala waxulo ko i don't think i said it no i did foku mané wax na lolu do want to tell a lie buguma fe fen it means you are not sure whether you did man dafa melni orut la de ndax wax nga ko wala waxulo ko or did not i would to prefer to differ dama buga tohal li that is that is to differ 
D-I-F-F-E-R, not D-E-F-E-R. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot defer the answer. <laughs> well, to defer it, it means to push it aside, no, not to deal with it now. So to defer means to, to not agree. Yes. All right. So, so, so you do not agree? I do not agree. No. Well, what don't you agree with? The question is, you said, you said that you're not quite sure. I can't recall the exact words. You, you see, you said, I think not. I think those were the words you At used. At the end of the so, sentence. So, so because you think not. At the end of the sentence, lead counsel, I said no. But no matter how it is packaged, it suggests that you are not sure. But I've just said no, I don't agree. What don't you agree with? I have just told you that the Harisambu I know is not like that. Well, we all thought that the people who were recruited in our national intelligence agency who our national intelligence agency we are not like that. that is true. That is true. That is true. Answer now. Do you Yes, I know. So we all thought that they were very decent. People. Who would respect the rights of Gambians? We all thought that those who were doing the torturing of Gambians were foreigners. Lo and behold, in the end of the sentence, the Lord these are our own brothers who were torturing us. People have different backgrounds. But you would agree that uh, it is really disappointing and abhorrent that it was us who were torturing one another. Do you answer now? I said agreed. Yes, the thing is, if you answer out of turn, <laughs> it's not reflected because I am watching at the, I am watching the screen as as we go ahead as we so so Sorry. so sometimes if you answer out of tone it's not recorded. I agree. But, so the fact that you say the Harisambu I know would not do this is in fact not good evidence before this commission. Can I commission me? Because the people we expected, or we thought we were doing the tortures, we are in fact the people who we least expected would do it. If you look at it, amongst the torturers you have mentioned, let's take them again, name them one by one, first person, second person, Baba Saho. Third person? Lamin Jabate. Lamin Jabate. Fourth person? Salmina Drame. Salmina Drame. You have a similar background to Baba Dindi, Jabate. You are Baba Dindi, sir. Legal training, social welfare, NIA. Send me in Yanga, the family who told you, the Yangi Lua, the Fingen Court, the Fingen NIA, the Fingen Yenin, you have the Mingona. You have just implicated him in torture. I want to know how to continue the mission. Home training. He didn't mention that one. To the two level. Home training is on is not very far. It's okay. And <coughs> but you can see that even people with the highest level of education, and we would expect decency, you have implicated them in torture. One, I am not the only one who implicated them. I am not the first one to have done so. Of course, we take note of that. 
you are corroborating the allegations of other people. Just like others are corroborating the allegations of others against me. It therefore behoves you to accept the veracity of the allegations against you. That is why I said it's a long time, I don't remember. <laughs> yes. but, agree, agree. but isn't this convenient, I agree. Mr. Sam? I don't agree with him. Uh, isn't what? this convenient? You are very able to recollect and corroborate the torture, or the allegations of torture by your colleagues, but you cannot remember to accept the areas in which you are implicated in that torture, you choose to think not. You choose not to remember. I have personally never tortured anybody. Uh, that is a given. We, the allegation is not that you tortured. We do not have any such evidence. And uh, we apologize if you think that that is the kind of suggestion we are making. But the evidence is you have encouraged you have, you have encouraged the torturers to do it harder. That's what he said. Yes, that's what he said. Well, we and know. he who feels it knows it. Uh, yes. I wouldn't agree with him on that. Uh, but, but, but this is the issue here. You are able to recall quite vividly when your colleagues did the torture, but you cannot recollect when you encourage those same colleagues to do the torture. It's like self-preservation. the law for amnesty. Lead counsel. Uh -huh. Let's draw a conclusion to this. I'm listening. Please proceed. If this is the situation, yes. If I can Nila con wow. Not so simple. Well, okay, yes. We are out for the truth. Yes. We are not out to get convenient uh, uh, truth. No. Convenient arrangements because of the situation. Okay. So that is why I am not prepared to trade certain agreements uh, with the search for the truth. Are you accepting responsibility for these tortures that you are accused to have been complicit in these tortures as somebody who encouraged the torture? Is that what you are accepting? Or oh, as, as the deputy director who was there went and saw uh, uh, witness? The company, the company director, what you're asking. Well, uh, uh, the, these are two things. The, these are two different strands of responsibility. One is superior responsibility, being deputy director general, uh, seeing it happen, you know a crime was being committed, 
and you did or said nothing to stop to prevent it. But but even when you did later the tortures didn't stop, they continued. Why so this first limb that is responsibility as a superior. Or, or as a commander because the NIA had a command structure. Right. So do you agree responsibility on that limb? I do. Well, definitely. And the other limb for responsibility is you encouraging the torture. One of the victims said that whenever you come, the tortures intensify because you would say, Nasaf de Nage Nasaf. Do you deny that? Or do you accept it? I find it difficult to agree with him, but I accept. I accept. Uh, the commission will have had your answer, and the commission will draw whatever conclusions. Uh, that is to be drawn in this. I hope so. But I agree. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I proceed? You satisfied with that answer? Thank you. Uh, perhaps maybe, well, it's 18 minutes past four. Uh, up to what time should I be expected to stop? Because we can't finish today. Uh, Mr. Sambu, you want to say something? No, I was just uh, say, suggesting that we can continue till five. Uh, but uh, let's let's leave it to the commissioners to yeah. decide. Yes. Please proceed. O up to what time do I have? Seven p.m. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I'll be happy to go till seven p.m. Mr. Uh, please, please go on a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> Without giving you time, when you get tired, you tell me. Uh, no, uh, the rest of the I won't get tired. Yeah. I can go on till midnight. Then let's go. Let's go on. Let's go on. <laughs> Your executive secretary no. just take five p.m. <laughs> let's go. On, let's go on. <laughs> All right. Okay. We proceed. Uh, I will stop when the chair. Oh, asks thank you. you yeah. go, go on. Please. All right. Thank you. These people were not. We talked about the the methods of torture that was used on them. Apart from the beating, could you recollect what other methods of torture was used on them? I had Balo talking about plastics. plastic. And uh, what about the plastics? What plastic you look more than? She said if they were being burnt on them. What money then lack of plastic which is in call? Do you recollect seeing this happen or, <laughs> or learning about this happening to them? What is the question? Yes, I was aware. Balo was truthful. Balo was not the government. Who feels it knows it? But answer the question. Was Balo truthful? Yes, in that sense, yes. In the real sense, was he truthful? Yes. He was. He also talked about electrocution. Yes, I heard about it. Bobby Diganago. As far as you know, Yo, she ham ham. who did these tortures, the, the burning with plastic the, and the electrocution? I think, I think what I heard Baro say, now let us not talk about what you heard from from the victim. 
Mm -hmm. Let's talk about what you know to have happened as deputy de facto de director general at the NIA at that time. Legi nini fata linga hamu mumga dega seda biwa yo chini sawa le ham ham linga ham kumka yana kum kitoa pachi director general bi lo ham chini mumu. Who was doing the tortures? Those those tortures, the electrocution and the burning with liquid plastic. Miti talio nyam nyoko donde di sokurangi chini nko akidije la kamusi di nko tochal. I presume the same guys that we mentioned before. Are you avoiding to mention their names? Everybody, the same Baba, the same Masanda, the same Baba, Jim, the same Jim. Who else? Yes. Let's take it step by step. Nailera. Mention the names. Number one. Baba Saho, Fodi Bari, Jabate, Salmina, Jim. So, Salmina, what's his last name? Salmina, Num Santa. Drame. Drame. Jim, what's his last name? Jim, Num Santa. I think also Drame. Jim, Mani, from my name, Drame. Baba, what's his last name? Saho. Saho. Lamin, what's his last name? Jabate. Jabate. And Fode, what's his last name? Bari. Bari. These were the people who were doing those tortures. You mentioned that you talked to Samba Ba yes, I about did. the tortures. Where is Samba Ba now? He's late, he's deceased. So, do you have any other person to corroborate your suggestion that you talk to the DG against these tortures? I'm the Kenyan Kumuna Viral Sakab. You know what I mean? I'm director general below Ajochi. Me to tell you how many more of them are No, I don't because my discussions with Sambaba were private. He was my boss. And when, when I go into his office, I knock, I enter, he closes the door. Did it? I'm not going to leave. Dal suma watan ag Sambaba yip mo isuma boss la. Dapan neko lo hamne manang umomrek la. In a sense, the only person who would have corroborated your defense that uh, you objected to this is someone who is normal. Yes. But nonetheless, you accept responsibilities on two limbs of responsibility. One is superior responsibility, the other is encouragement. I do. Could you respond now? I say I do. Wow, that's not enough. Okay, let's then move on to another issue. Ah. If, no, perhaps I should stick with this for a little while. There were soldiers who were also present at some point during these tortures. I'm on my soldier. You have no little German or you have no. Then you fake a bugaling. You have no mom. You take me to Fufu. Do you recall? Yes, some students are was mentioned. Wow, some students are today in Kaji. Do you recollect him being there? When these uh, rebels were first brought in from Farfinia, they all came down to see who they were. Yep, they knew who was there. And at that stage, these guys were being tortured. At that stage, these guys were being tortured. Correct. You answering out of thought. <laughs> they confirmed. Because this is this is a record uh, that is being kept here. We don't want there to be a confusion as to whether the witness answered or did not answer. Yes, yes, yes. They confirmed. So these people were present, some students are, and others were present while these rebels were being tortured. Some students are at Nye, Nyunga Teon, Yaman Nyunga Hamne, Nyunga Mititan Rebel, Yifufu. Yes. Wow. Good. 
do you know whether any one of those soldiers participated in the torture in one way or another? Nda hamna na kena ki solba ruu boko nanchi miti tali nga hamna nyumum la infadon tek nyonyo jinu muna dame. Sar did. Could you say again? I said I think Sar did. Yaka na Sar def nako. What do you recall him do? Lo fatele kuro hamna Sar def nako. Exactly, definitely I wouldn't recall. Mune ma mune ma fatele kuro la la def. Da lo liaga na. I did not be in for Mbalo's accusation of me, I would not have remembered. So do you think that Mbalo did not do that? Did you just sort this out of your memory? Well, well I'm reminded. The things are coming back. It's been years, years. I'm not going to be frank. I'm not going to be frank. I'm not going to be frank. I have to be frank. I have to be frank. Your recollection is that Sar participated. Would you answer now? Yes. Wow. What recollection do you have of what he may have done? I don't know. I don't know. What is, Carson, what is your basis for saying that he participated? You must have something in your mind which would tell you that he participated. It's, di it's difficult. Very sorry. Very sorry. It cannot be just a guesstimate. You must have something in your mind to tell you that this person participated. You must have seen him do something in order to be able to suggest that he participated in torture. Beating, Dore. Did you see him beat? Banco is my door. I think I did. Yakar na dal is now. You think you know you saw? Nga fo, nga ham, nga gis. I wouldn't know without seeing. You must have to take any gis umoko. Of course. Yes. That's why. That's so. When you know. It's not just you think. You know. Did Sar beat? One or more of the rebels? Or he did not? I think he did. Yakarna Defnako. Yakarna Defnako. Balo Kante. Balo Kante. He said that Samsidin Sar. Wahnane Samsidin Sar. Kicked him with his boots. Yakarnako Agbalami. He stamped. He stamped him. He trampled upon him. He also beat him with his fist. And somebody he could recall as Babu Karjata grabbed him and stopped him. Is Balokante lying? I don't think so. Fogumakode. Is Balo Kante speaking the truth? Well, Balo Kante, the Galawa. I'm inclined to believe. It's very well nuanced, Mr. Sambo. It's very well nuanced. Uh, with all those qualifications. What is the truth? 
apparently as a result of torture. Yeah. Yaya Drame had been held at Banjul's Mile 2 prison since an attack by armed men on the Gambia's second largest military camp at Farafenye, some 100 kilometers east of Banjul, in November 1996. <laughs> He was under constant medical care when he died in May. So he died a few months thereafter. Are you aware of this? I heard about one of them who died. I don't know who it was. Would you say that the torturers are responsible for manslaughter? Need counsel, I'm not a common law lawyer. I need counsel, I'm not a lawyer. I have a background in law. It's not common, common law. law. Well, you, you did not ask me time just out of, just in the blue. You asked me about the time frame within which the person died yes. because you are recalling from the law that you learned that for there to be a case of murder, the person has to have died within one year of the, of the act that caused death. Council <laughs> Pushing it down my throat. It comes to link all the other is more poor. Lord, me. I, I don't want to put it through your throat. I am just throwing a proposition. It's for you to accept or deny the my proposition. My Nabu Malab for Serapunga Wako, why not the Malako Tegare, Nanango, Walanga Banyanango? Uh, you, of course, know what is the crime of murder. On, in this particular case, I say at least, at minimum, is a case of manslaughter. You agree? Please proceed, Mr. Sam. Yes, I do. Well, Nanguna. You agree that this is a case of manslaughter? Yes. Well, could you answer now, please? Said yes. Would you answer again? I said yes. Manewao. Thank you very much. <laughs> so uh, now let's, uh, Mr. Chair, perhaps I should, uh, I would at some stage put in this document, uh, the uh, Amnesty International document I'm referring, I'm referring I, I, I to. I thought it was um, uh, submitted um, uh, way back uh, at some no, point. No, not, not the Amnesty report. That's the Amnesty report. Not, report or not, not this amnesty report. Yeah, there was an... an uh, uh, yes, an yes, amnesty. there are several, because these are annual reports. Fine. Fine. All right. Okay, so I now have to put but in two documents, but I will do that at the end. Sure, sure. And so now... Five, five, ten minutes to wind up if you five, want Five, ten to. minutes, yeah. yes. Okay, now, of course, torture 
became a culture at the NIA. Would you agree? Yes, I'm going to admit it. I'm going to admit it. I'm going to admit it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Wow, I'm going to admit it. What do you, wh why do you think that these tortures were taking place? Please come again. Why do you think these tortures were taking place? What was the objective? What was the reason, the ratio death for these tortures? Why do you Mm. Like I said, comme ni ma ko waxé Ndien jamé he liked he liked seeing people suffer. Ya jamé dafa nekkon ko xamné bu gon nit ñi di torox di gis nit ñi torox. And uh Tate are you suggesting he was a sadist? I'm coming. He enjoyed seeing people suffer. And uh, begging him or pleading with him, he, he deducted as his sign of weakness. He deducted as a sign of He deducted as a sign of weakness. He deducted as a sign of weakness. He hardly believed anybody, trusted anybody. He deducted even if you bring somebody to him and say, well, we've spoken to the person, yes. Mm -hmm. Admitted. Mm -hmm. He would say, he would say no. He doesn't believe. <laughs> the only way he thinks you can get the person to talk is to extract we missed something. He would, he would have to extract the truth from the person. Extraction was in place of obtaining. That was interesting choice of words, Mr. Sambo. Extraction. Yes. Instead of obtaining yes. or okay. obtention. Yes. Yes. In your statement, you described it in other language. They extorted. Extorted. Confessions out of people instead of obtaining Tain. confessions. That is true. No, let that. me please let's allow uh, accept, uh, let, let's replace the extraction with extortion. When replace extraction, we need to get near to the mom and get near to the mom. These are very strong words, Mr. Sam. Yeah, I can do four lines, Mr. Sam. Yes, because. Uh, uh, like I said. The boss did not accept, he could not accept um, persuasion. He, he, he thought ev everybody, there should be a show of power. So that he was the one up there, one and two. The person had to be, so what do I say? Maltreated, yes. brutalized, yes. bullied. In order to, one, subjugate the person, two, get the person to cooperate, you know, and uh, for you to go and face him with his, with a file and say, sir, we have spoken to the guy, he has voluntarily written his statement, and this is, you wouldn't listen to that. In fact, you would know, think that you have come there, to, not only to beg for the person, but maybe you know him or you are negotiating. The five and you would say, you want to replace him. And uh, you would be in a funny position. So that culture, giving VIP treatment, the culture 
develops the water forced in order to harden not only the agents or the yeah, but to make everybody feel once you are in there strong words again that culture metamorphosed metamorphosed and made these agents hardened these are your words yeah, are my words so the culture or torture became a policy of the NIA in order to secure information that Yaya Jame wanted from those who threatened his authority. Would you agree with that? Yes, would yeah, Jame would give personal orders yeah, and he would follow up on each yeah, in a case. case orders like what? <laughs> the VIP treatment. The VIP treatment. What is VIP treatment? What the does it mean? The tortures. The so you're saying yeah, Jame would personally give yes. his orders? Yeah. Would you answer now? Yes. Well, has, have you ever had personal first-hand knowledge of your Jame ordering torture? I have not, but I know it has happened. Now, uh, let us deal with 2006. On 20 March 2006, you are Director of Operations at the IEC. Yes. Yeah, I think on Director Operations the IEC. By 22nd March 2006, you became new Director General of the NIA. Yeah, for you, for now, very much 2006, you became Director General of the NIA, which is NIA. Tell us what happened. What you know how? How it happened? I'm not sure. I was Director of Operations at the IEC, preparing for the budget for the forthcoming elections in September the same year. And I got a telephone call from State House to go and answer. So I went. And uh, I said, uh, I have and was someone to the Secretary General's office. You dali mo yebuna chief office Secretary General be. At the time it was Mamburinjai. Time bo Mamburinjai la. And uh, he sat me down and said, "Wait for me." Utoga take mo mune makarma. Came in and out, in and out, and said, "Come." Mo duga the gate of his office. Mo makai mo duga si office am. That I have orders for you. Chila mo hana amna digal si poriyo. Orders is there? Yes, I said. What orders? Digal mo mel naka. Said Echi has. Instructed that you go and take over. Mune is Excellency President be Johanna Lai Ngadem Jil Ewa E. Mane Kolan. Yes, sir. Sit down and wait for your letter. Mune Matoka Ngakarsa letter be. So I sat. Who was he referring to as Hechi? His Excellency Ayame. Then. Ayame. Move on. So I sat down. Matok. After some time, my letter came. Lul Naksuma letter be Aksi. What, what did the letter say? Letter of appointment is um, acting appointment. Letter Take over as director, acting director general of the NIA with immediate effect. And this would be your f second, second coming? Second. 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 
So I went and reported to the chairman IEC. This the letter. One call ki borom kiri buntuli kai independent electoral commission. Ne ko lima letter bi. What do we do? I said I don't know. Mune malige na dunia dek mane ko hauma. So I started. Who, who was the director general at the IEC at the time? The chairman. Can no ne ko. Chairman, I meant to say. Let no dunjai. Let no dunjai. Dem se alo no dunjai. So I shuttled for about two weeks between IEC and the NIA. So I got to know my job until them. Nyari be sure I did get to IEC. Until I finally resigned from the. The major dollar, no pass from the police to IEC, and took over at the NIA. Madal did you know NIA? Something must have precipitated this move. Your your sudden appointment as director general. Yes. At the NIA. Yes. Tell us about it. No, I was informed there and then that uh, there was an abortive call. Abort abortive call. And I am not coup d'état. 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 That's all. Don't know. Were you given any particular tasks? <laughs> any particular directives? Yes. I'm not then suspended. I was on the wrong agenda. Yes. Well, tell us. Why you? A panel of investigation was supposed to have been formed. That is what I'm just not going to curl go. I'm not going to curl any. To interview the latter. All those you have arrested and detained in connection with the abortive court. And uh, who were to be members of the panel? Uh, mem officers from various armed and security forces. Yes. From the panel. Who selected the members? I think Lang Tombong did in, co in collaboration with the president then. Lang Tombong Tamba, then chief of defense staff. President, I have a lot of people who soldiers in Rio. How do you know that? He came to tell me. Who told you? Lang Tombong. Lang Tombong. So Lang Tombong Tamba and the president set up basically they chose the members of the panel. Lady Lang Tombong Tamba and President Benyom Nyo Tamba Nyinga Hamne Nyo Waraboka Chikuru Nikili for you you know. Well, well you are to be the head of the NIA. Yo ya Nyeko Nyito Nyinga Hamne Mujito NIA. Was the NIA represented in the panel? The NIA Amna Kulente Wal Chikuru Elgo. Wow. Yes. Who was the person? Allawan. The deputy director general, Mamadou Haidara. Kitopanti, Kijite, and I, Mamadou Haidara. How was he selected to be in the panel? Nakalentane, Mamadou Haidara, Mamadou Haidara, Mamadou Haidara. He was nominated by the then CDS, Lang Tombong Tamba. The CDS, Lang Tombong Tamba, Mokotanon. As the new director general of NIA, did you have to approve that appointment? No, I did not have to approve. Did it? Orders came from above. What was to be the role of the NIA, or oh, your role as Director General? What was to be your role in this investigation panel? The panel was to have been housed in the premises of the NIA. Because there was a hall 
in upstairs in the main yard. That was like a conference room. And it had enough space. So, he gave instructions that the proceedings take place there. And of course, by he, you mean? Yeah, Jame. Yeah, Jame. Who selected the various components? Uh, First of all, tell us the various components of that panel. You said it was to be comprised with members of various security security institutions. Uh, tell us where were they derived from? It was chaired by the de deputy director general. deputy director general uh, policemen, I'm not a police members of the military security in uh, military intelligence. You know, how many necks a police a soldier in a have any in your neck to put to head over with you soldier. Yes, so you'd have NIA police and army. Yes. Yes. But of course, you also had GRTS. Why am I afraid GRTS? Yes, I came to find out. Wow. The evidence received by the commission is that this panel comprised of investigators, statement takers, torturers, and recorders of forced confessions. Would you agree? Rightly so. You agree that this was the arrangement? Positive. Wow. Uh, we have received evidence from Alaji Martin to say that uh, the suspects were brought in they are questioned if they do not answer satisfactorily they are taken out. The junglers would beat the Do truth out of them. Or the confessions out of them. They would be brought back before the panel. They will confess. And they would be later taken before the cameras of GRTS record their confessions on video. Was that the system? It's true, I heard him uh, testify here. And what is your view about what he said? Could you answer now? It's true. Is that the reason why, in your statement, you said that evidence was extorted out of these witnesses, or evidence was coerced out of these witnesses and not obtained? Uh, is that the reason why you said that in your statement? Yes, that is the reason. Well, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, one last question before we adjourn for the day. Those who appeared before the commission were tortured to give the confessionary statements that they gave.
Yes. Panel, they were tortured before they gave the confessionary statements they gave to the panel. Yes. Wow. Well, they were. Please proceed. I have written in my statement in the Nazi that following the establishment of the panel and the bringing in of the guy, the, 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 the detainees to question them. Initially, it used to be during the day. And uh, seemingly everything went well during the day. During working hours. But after working hours, I would go home. Apparently, detainees were brought in late in the night by the junglers. The junglers, some in civilian clothes. Some in their uniform. I had some of them who were black, black. That's when I found out who they were. And they were maltreated and tortured in the premises of the NIA. To early morning hours and taken back to Mile 2. I would only know that if you know America, when I came in the morning, and the security guards will tell me. The first two, three occasions, I was to give briefings to H.E., His Excellency. And I told him, I said, I heard some detainees are being beaten. He giggled. Uh, uh, uh. He giggled. He giggled. Murray. I just looked at him. He said, "Call Komuni. Or tell them to cooperate." Were you being ordered to torture people to confess? I, I, I didn't implement that order. The, the question is, Mr. Board. Sam, were was, you at that stage being ordered to torture these detainees to confess? The inference was that. I didn't implement that order. I just went back to my Do, office. Do, do my office. Uh, we would because come to all that tomorrow. Well, Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Chair, Mr. that Chair. would be it for today. For Thank you so MK. much, MK. Thank you. Uh, Council. Uh, Mr. Sambu, you weren't, when you didn't carry out that unlawful order to torture, where you tortured yourself. Never. We were told earlier on that uh, when uh, orders were given to torture and those orders not carried out, uh, the fear was there that they themselves, those who did not want to carry out the orders, would be tortured. Were you or were you ne never tortured? I have never been touched. You have never tortured anybody? I have never tortured anybody and I have never been touched. I mean, um, before, when we going to come back tomorrow, uh, do you have any more samples in your bag uh, of um, notations by Jame on a memorandum sent to him? The one that you showed us uh, is very, very scanty. You couldn't tell the context of uh, what Yaya was refer um, replying to in a very angry way. We couldn't read even that writing. You were the one that were trying to explain that. Sorry, interpreter, I'm just going on. But uh, if you have more examples, bring, if you can help us with that.
vous faites que Thank you. Our obligation is um, to create an impartial historical record. Uh, to take that um, uh, memo that you gave us, and then uh, all the things that you say, he's erratic, he's this, he's that, we need to be fair to him and uh, see the context in which um, he was reacting rather than uh, uh, reach a um, uh, conclusion that uh, this is coming from a madman or an erratic fellow. Even the devil is entitled to fair treatment. Council, you have a uh, point of order to raise. Uh, yes, uh, I have asked, uh, I had asked the investigators to put, a to put together a collection of such minutes. Uh, so uh, we would at some stage have to put them in through an investigator because to call the heads of the various departments would be, would be difficult. Uh, but uh, we can put them in through an investigator, and we can do it as early as tomorrow if the, if the chair is interested, just to so that uh, while we are on this same topic, we could deal with it, and you can have a flavor of some of the, some of the uh, minutes here Jami would write to, to, to the uh, staff in government. That should be very helpful indeed. Thank you, Council. Uh, we will, uh, um, witness, you have something to say before we close for the day? I'm all right. I'm quite all right. Well, <laughs> Thank you okay. very much. I hope you all have a restful evening. And the council, again, thank you so much. I ask you to stay <laughs> and then go on. It seems as if you can go on now until... I'm uh, happy to go on. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chair. Uh, meetings adjourned. We'll meet tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock sharp. Thank you.